Talking about Bergheim, I'm going to the Bergheim. They'll tell you I'm going to the Bergheim. They'll tell you I'm going to Berlin. I'm going to Berlin. I'm going to Berlin. Well, I'm going to Berlin. Hopefully, I get into the Bergheim. Right? I can't assume and I can't go. I can't be so cocksure that I'm going to get in. Hopefully, I get in. Fingers crossed. But I was just checking online. I was like, oh, people were like, oh, you all wear black, go wear black. I've never, I think I've worn black maybe twice when I've gone there. The other times I've worn colors. I've had like a red jumper on, a blue t shirt. Like, I've, I've mixed up. I'm not always worn black. Um, but and when you get in there too, you see loads of different outfits. No one's just wearing black all the time. But I saw this um, little Pinterest board because I was like, oh, I wonder what people put up on Pinterest about outfits of Berlin off a of burger. And it got me think, okay, cool. Now it makes sense why people always think the black is the way to go. Because just taking a quick look look at this Pinterest board, right? Not even in depth. There's a Pinterest board called "What People Wear to Get Into Burger." There was an exclusive nightclub. Pretty plain to you to see. And look at it, just like a quick glance. It's all black essentially all dark colors no light colors at all everything is dark 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 look at insane isn't it look everything is black there's no light colors at all i was like oh okay now i get why everyone says you have to wear black to get in there some of the girl looks are fucking incredible they're really nice actually i like this girl's little um with the ripped shorts and shit but yeah everything is black the whole thing this is a more of a common look you'll see when you go to Bergheim. I know I've seen it a few times I've been in there. The sort of like fishnet tights. Um, um, what do you call that? What would you call that top? I don't know. This is yeah, more of a common look. I really like these pants too. But yeah, just made me laugh looking there. I was like, okay, cool, man. I guess they're right. It is actually all, you know, black and all the same sort of thing looking wise for the most part. Um, but yeah, loads of cool style outfits, looks there, stuff that I'm obviously not going to wear. I don't have the legs for that kind of look, unfortunately, right? It's a girl wearing some fishnet tights and some massive buffalo shoes, which are really popular, I've seen too. Whenever, whenever I check the, I'm always checking the uh, Bergheim um, location on Instagram just to check what people are posting. You don't really get in much because, you know, you don't like to take pictures inside Ber Bergheim, so you don't get much. You just get some people recording audio from their f from their phones for the most part. But if you check the Bergheim location on Instagram, you will see the same sort of thing there too. You'll just see loads and loads and loads of outfits in black, basically. The same sort of kind of, you know, thing that you basically see on this Pinterest board. Let me get up here for you guys to check out. Hopefully you guys can see this. All right. So on here, if you go on there, what you'll see is just like, look, look at that, tons and tons of black as I'm scrolling through. This is just from clicking, typing basically location, typing Bergheim bar or Bergheim Panorama bar, and you'll see loads of girls and boys wearing black. And another big um, move from the whole Berlin Bergheim scene, as you guys have maybe found out, or if you don't know, supposedly they're moving away from stamps. So the Bergheim stamp was, you know, one of the most legendary things you get when you get and go into Bergheim, right? You queue up. You get past then, you pay your ticket, you get searched, you pay a ticket fee, you have a sticker over your phone. But the most important thing that you'd love was a stamp you'd get, right? And the stamps always changed up. Nowadays, I think, or as of maybe a few weeks ago, I think they had um, the, a stamp with a faggot on it, right? There was a stamp on your arm, which was quite cool. People were posting it up. But it seems like they've made a change now. Now they're going to have these wristbands, similar to what you'd get at a festival. The kind of wristbands that have like, the two-sided sticky tape. It has the price on there, the date that you bought it on the wristband already. So I think that helps them with knowing who come in and what day you arrived and whatnot and there's also a change too because it's going to be a five euro re-entry fee because usually whenever you went to the Bergheim and you left because the whole the whole thing about it or the whole trick was to kind of go and get your stamp early on the friday or the saturday leave go do your thing have a nap chill out whatever it may be called and then come back on a sunday morning and party all the way until sunday morning like, oh until monday morning sorry that was the kind of vibe that you basically do, right? Um, but now they've changed it, switched it. So now everyone's wearing wristbands. It's wristbands only, which I'm, you know, not a fan of because I want the stamp. But again, you know, things have to be made. And the re-entry fee, I guess, for managing a club of that size and the amount of people that come in there is such an easy money maker from them. And also is a good way of maybe uh, herding the crowd and ensuring the people that are coming back in are actually coming back in for the right reasons right and not just coming back in to be a fucking lager louts because i'd imagine it must put them in a weird position when they already stamp somebody and you have to kind of let them back in again right but maybe the paying might thin the crowd maybe the paying might help with the queues because especially if you already paid your ticket and it's free to get back in again the queues are probably a little bit insane especially this summer i feel as if this summer was an insane time for Bergheim. like it seems like every time i was looking online there was just a mate loads of pictures being uploaded of massive queues people waiting outside so maybe that's part of the reason i'm not too sure but 
yeah, um, the Bergheim has now switched to wristbands for the most part. So if you're going to go Bergheim and you're looking forward to getting a stamp, unfortunately, no stamp. Wristbands only, as you can see here from a lot of pictures, people's videos. I've, I've, I always get the fucking pictures. Someone's boomerang that they've got to. It's got the price on there and the date and stuff. So yeah, so all new, all new thing there. Was that XP and Iron Stamp? Was that Stemple? I don't know what that means. I am whatever something, but yeah, you got the price on there, eighteen euros again. Such a great price for such a big mega club, isn't it? Um, loads of cool pictures of people there posting and stuff. So yeah, I can't wait to go, man. Only a few more weeks to go until I am in the burger myself, raving away, pumping my fist in the air, and shouting in my head, "We don't care." <laughs> Anyways, um, what else is on the list here? I went to check out da 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 da. Oh, we got some perfect Bergheim boots, actually. These Etsy's. Etsy's, I've talked about them a lot, I think, on here. Spoke about their gender neutral brands, spoke about their boots. I think I'm going to have to take the, the, the jump in with Etsy. You know, these remind me of two, these shoes, right? These shoes are from Etsy. They've not come out yet, I don't think, but they're called, they're re releasing the Ultra Chunky Halo sneaker. I'm not sure, I think it's maybe a, something from the archives that they're kind of pulling back again. So I'm assuming everyone's getting hype over them, but um, they look really cool. I'm a big fan of them. I think they'll look amazing for my trip in Berlin if I was able to get them beforehand. So if anyone from Etsy is watching it, this little video, holla at your boy. But they look fucking cool. And they remind me a little bit of those um, Vetemont and... Uh, who, what collaboration they did it with? They did a collaboration of sneakers that they brought a while ago, but they didn't make that many, I don't think, or they didn't sell as well. I didn't see how many people wearing them. But they look amazing. So bit really big chunky shoes. Reminds me a little bit of that. I don't know what that basketball shoe is again. That's got a similar sort of lava sort of mold on it on the top. But they look fucking cool. Cork sole, chunky as fuck. And again, really he probably quite heavy. They're gonna be four hundred and seventy dollars. So it's an article from Hype Beast here. It's called the Halo shoe, right? As you can see here from the screen. Hopefully you guys are checking it out. Hopefully it's on there. Is it on there? Hopefully it is, right? Um, it's called the SC continues to venture into the world of chunky footwear with the latest race of the Halo sneaker. Da, 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 da. It's going to come out when? It's, they got a date for it yet? September the 4th. Okay, so it's out already. So if I click on Etsy's site, it should be there already to check to buy, right? So let's see if we can see down the site and see how much it is in the UK price. I think it's 400, right? Oh, it's not out yet. Is it out yet? 350 pounds. God almighty, that's a lot of money, isn't it? God damn. 350. But they're fucking, they look banging though. They look a lot better than my uh, uh, Triple S's, I think. I'd like to see them in person, see what they look like. But I'd wear the fuck out of these shoes, man. They look so good. Because I see a lot of people, whenever I'm, I'm tagged, whenever I'm checking the location of Burkhine, there's always people wearing the Buffalo sneakers. They look really, I think they're really popular shoe there. And obviously the Dr. Martin Jaden, which I've got a pair of. Um, but these look really nice, man. I love them. Love, love, love them. So that's a Halo sneaker. It's bold, lightweight sneaker on. Okay, quite lightweight, they're saying, which is cool. Uh, it's got a, a pylon midsole with jagged outsole, um, accentuating its uh, otherworldly silhouette. Features a distinctive square toe speed lace system and nylon hooks. Product details. Yep, stitch upper. Oh, it looks amazing, isn't it? Though? I'm a big fan of these. I think I want them, man. I think I really want them. Three fifty, though, man. It's expensive, isn't it? Expensive for well, they're expensive for a, an Etsy shoe, but not expensive for like a designer shoe, right? Because that's still a good value. Like, what Chip Less is going for? 600, 700 quid, right? Speed races, probably about the same as these. Um, acne trainers don't go for less than 300 for the most part. Um, Com de Gosso Play, I don't know, Converse, which are not, you know, again, I'm just saying trendy fashion shoes. These are really good, I think, for the price. Again, if you like that kind of style. I'd probably get these other buffaloes because they look a bit more different and they're a bit, you know, a little bit more unique. Something you won't see a lot of people wearing. And the buffaloes, are, again, I'm not sure the buffaloes, I like, I like the overall shape of them anyway. These look a little bit more of an athletic shoe. I love the outsole. And again, I just love the shape. Look how flat it looks at the front. They look incredible. I'm a big fan, actually. I quite like these. And again, you know what remind me of the arch here? Of those Pradas that Jaden Jaden Smith wears a lot. He's got that big, massive arch on the sole too. But yeah, I'm a big fan of these. Um, the Etsy Halo is available now, so I recommend you check it out. Three fifty on the Etsy website. Probably get. I'll probably a size forty four in case you're watching someone from Etsy. I'm a size forty four. Hold out your boy. What's the other colorway there? Oh, in grey too. Oof. They look bad. They look good. They look good. They look fucking good. Wow, I like them so much. And they've got that square toe that all their shoes got as well. No, they look fucking bang. Look. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's a pulley. Okay, cool. I see. It's a pull system. Pull is like um, like the Jordans um. Jordan 6s, like zip tie basically. That's a cool, I like that, yeah. These are a really cool shoe. I recommend you check them out. Really nice. 
Etsy Halo sneaker available now at all your local Etsy retailers.